Hi guys, so as you are all probably aware, I am injured today so I'm unable to play for my team sport in Kalsa. We're playing at home today against Long Eat and Ladies and so I'm going to go and check out the game. I'm going to also record a video, interview a few players and yeah, so fingers crossed my girls get three points today. Absolutely gutted not to be playing, but at least I've got something to keep me occupied on the side. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, take care and thank you once again. And thanks once again for tuning into Hair Dry Treatment. If you haven't already, please go and subscribe. Cheers, guys. Right, guys, so I'm just on the way now to the game with Lindsay Glover. Drive in, there she is. Lindsay, feeling up for the game today? Yeah, yeah, she's nervous as always. Always nervous this one before we game. <laughs> Lindsay plays right back, quality right back. Had a great game in the cup final the other night, I will say so myself. She was quality. Um, what's your score prediction for today, Linds? I'm going to say 3 0 Calsa. You reckon 3 0? Yeah. Obviously, Final loss on Tuesday, everyone was really disappointed, but like, plenty of positives to take from that. Yeah, um, definitely. Like I say, you had a great performance, and I know many of us did as well. Um, we lost 2 0 against a team in, in the league above us, um, but I wouldn't say they dominated us at all, but we played the better football. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping today we continue that and take it into this game against Long Eaton. Obviously, last time out against these, we lost, didn't we? Um, very unlucky, I must admit. I thought we dominated that game, and they had two counter attacks and scored. So. How are you feeling about this one? Do you think the girls will be up for it? I hope so. Um, they should be, considering the last game. We felt like we got robbed a little bit, to be fair. Um, so they should come out today fighting in this cross, especially after the last Tuesday. We didn't deserve to lose Tuesday at all. Um, so I hope the, the girls actually will fight today. Fantastic, and I know it's a silly question, but if we get a penalty today, who's taking it? Me. <laughs> right, cheers, mate. Keep tuning in guys, head to our treatment, subscribe if you haven't already as well. Take care. And so does Sunday, fix my problems but miss where my woes went. You grown in the gym like you grown in your bed. It's a thick winter, you'll want a rope vest. We rolled up in a column, we flew in a queue. You need to stick to the plan, you need some glue for your route. You're trending backwards, your music loses views. Try and scare man like Jay and say boo to a blue nose. Scare man like Jay, say boo to a blue nose. We're fixed to being juvenile, glued to our youths. Let the Scotch we turn up. That's where that a day go by. As usual, Meg Wilson, club captain. Hey. Walk 
walk of shame. <laughs> Hi Meg. I'm joined with Gertrude here from Sporting Council, ladies first team. Um, how are you feeling about the game today, Gertrude? Feeling up for it? Yeah, I think we're really up for it today, especially after Tuesday's game. I think we all played really well as a team, and the girls should be the girls should want to get three points today. Because I mean, we lost against them earlier on in the league. We don't, we don't really deserve it, to be fair. So I think so the girls the girls will be really up for today to get three points on the board. Fantastic. And what's the atmosphere like in the training rooms? Obviously, a few injuries, including myself today. Yeah. Um, so it's quite a Small amount of players in the changing yeah. room, say, compared to usual, but how are the girls feeling? Well, to be fair, we, we, I think we all look through as I said before. Um, I know there's only 11, well, I think there's 12, 12 of us here today, we're two coming later, but we're not really thinking about that. We're thinking about the first 11 that's on the pitch and just hopefully starting off well and ending the game well. Fantastic, bro. So, Tuesday, like you said, was a bit of a disappointment. However, as a team, we played really well collectively yeah. and we take the positives from that. Yeah. So, overall, feeling really confident today. What's your score prediction for today's game? Yeah, I think we'll keep the clean sheet so I can get, get a few goals in. We're at 2 0. Fantastic, bro. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, okay. Gerge. Thanks Thank for you. joining me for the interview. Go on. So please don't wake me up. Please don't wake me from this. Lean to go, berries are red. <laughs> she hates cases. <laughs>
the girls are just finishing off their warm up now and they're about to head in and get the shirts on and get ready to kick off. To be fair, the warm ups look really sharp and they're looking really up for it. I'm expecting a council win today. Fingers crossed, I'll be supportive from the side. Come on, council. Oh, actually, yes. Oh, Get yeah, on camera that I've actually got a safety pin in it because it's too small, too big. <laughs> the junior is too big. Uh, here goes, happy Tuesday's happy Tuesday Tuesday performance. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Effort levels that went in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, effort levels that went in there on Tuesday, by far a better side. Okay, than what? So quick. Alright, they had a long ball every time. Okay, watching parts of their wall. Okay, when they turn around, it's very slow, but very lack of intensity. Okay, we play at a high intensity. Alright, and we should be playing at a high intensity for that 90 minutes. Alright, as soon as the 3-4 nil up after 8 minutes, then we can chill out a little bit more. Alright, but until that stage, everybody works at a high intensity. Okay? We still do our normal stuff, we play it from the back, okay, and we build together as a team. All right, we'll play through the thirds as best we can. All right, can we get long balls in behind? Not a drama because we've still got 7 11s that can get in behind. All right, fix it up a little bit. Okay, if they're, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Okay, if they're pushing in, all right, don't be afraid to play back, go out the other side, okay? What we keep going on about every week, okay? We're reds, they're blues, all right? Ball out here, there's our throw in. All right, I've already briefed a couple of players anyway. What normally happens is everybody ends up for some reason there. Okay, if we're reds, the ball's here, that's where everybody ends up for a throw in. All right, that's pretty much how our team look generically. Okay, do we all need to be over there? All right, we don't, just like any other game, all right? We're not gonna lose the ball, okay, because we have the ball coming up as it's our throw in, okay? We're always gonna have somebody coming into that short area, which will probably be at number 10, all right? You'll always have potentially somebody in and around the line, okay? jody has got the height, she can do good. Don't you get on my back as well. <laughs> Relax. Girls will stay out, girls will stay out. Good girl, Jackie goes. That's it, good, good, good. Drag them out of the way. Yeah. See what? Lucky kids. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, pretty much everything. <laughs> pretty much everything's been said there. Yeah, pretty much everything in there. All right, first ten minutes, I thought we were going to walk it about nine 0 All right, because we had that many opportunities, so I don't think they came anywhere near our heart. Okay, we've lacked loads of communication being the main one, quite massively. Okay, whether it's Hi, I'm so and so. You know, that's a basic talking to me. Oh, you do it in the change room, you'll do it out on the warm up pitch, okay? While I'm talking, okay, there's other people talking as well, okay, so everybody can talk to each other. All right, we're all aware that everybody can talk to each other. As soon as you go out the pitch, everybody's like, I'm going to pass to her, I might have to talk to her, okay? That's a massive thing out there. All right, their heads are down straight away, as soon as they kick off, couldn't even hear any of them, you can hear you lot. All right, slightly. As soon as they get a goal, as soon as they started hearing you lot getting on each other, that was then raised it a bit, okay? I can't be out there for you. Who here enjoys playing football? Yeah, so everybody enjoys playing football. I, I love playing football. I think it's brilliant. Right? I don't get up my teammates for it because I know they're going to make a shit pass. Because I expect to make a shit pass. Right? I expect to make mistakes. I expect to miss headers, miss goals, own goals. Okay, things like that. I expect that of myself. I expect my teammates to accept that I'm going to make that because I expect them to do exactly the same for me. All right, I don't expect to have the ball. There you go, kids. Can you have the ball? Yes, please. I'll have it. Thanks. There you go. There you go, mate. Do you want the ball? Yeah, I don't actually. All right, I'll go somewhere else. If it's not on, all right, I'll keep the ball. All right, that's pretty much what it is. Okay, okay so it's 2 0 at half time to Long Eaton against Sporting Kelsa. My team, I must admit, we're a bit down at half time. People get on each of us back, so I'm hoping that after a bit of a talking to from the skipper and from all the staff and vice captain Tony as well, that we're going to go out and have a really positive second half. So fingers crossed, we're going to be. So I've got Meg Wilgen here, Milton here with me, the captain of Sporting Council Ladies. Not a good day at the office today, 2-0 defeat to Long Eaton. How did you feel that game went, mate? Sometimes they just got to take a uh, game like this on the chin. Um, we you know, went 2-0 down for first half and that's not feel that often going on really. Um, I said to the girl at half time, it's a mental battle rather than a physical one. And we decided to you know, test ourselves again today. I think we thought it would be a rollover with how well we played on Tuesday night against Oak City. We set the bar so high on that game that producing the same level we just have to do it today. But um, like I said, take it on the chin, just learn from the mistakes and develop on Tuesday when it's next time. Yeah, and obviously I spoke to Gerd before the game and we spoke about the fact we've got some injuries, obviously including myself as well. Yeah. But we had a, a smaller squad than usual today. Yeah. Do you think that had an impact on the game? I think personnel changes, the players we've got in the squad, regardless of the first team development, can start into the first team. Um, the quality of all the players that we have today should have been good enough to win. Um, yes, when, when you do change personnel, it, it can mean that it results in relationships and um, on the pitch not developing, but we had, we had the player and we had the, the personnel so that could have won the match. Just yeah. I'd agree with that. Um, watching from the side, it was just a really poor performance from the off. Um, everyone seemed really down at half time, really flat. I've got some coverage of that as well, of people talking and trying to lift each other. Yeah. Um, all we can say now is really go training Tuesday and then try and feel positive and put in a good performance next Sunday. Yeah, training as, as normal on Tuesday, and to be honest, we've got a third album next week. Uh, we only won one from the first game of the season last, uh, this season. They beat us 2 1 at home. We weren't at our a game on that match, um, and I'd like to see us go out there and obviously prove to ourselves, follow the other team in this league, that we are good and we are capable of winning. Yeah, thanks, Meg. Thanks for the interview. Take care, mate. Cheers. Right, so a very disappointing afternoon for Sporting Council ladies. A 2-0 defeat to Long Eaton, who for me fully deserved the three points today. We were very disappointed. We didn't really come out of the blocks. Didn't really seem athletic today, and the girls know that as well. However, back in training on Tuesday, we need to bounce back from this. We need to show fight. We need to show character. Fingers crossed I can get joined in with the training as well. I can put a bit more weight on my ankle today. So I'm hoping I can get on the road to recovery next week at training. But as a team, we've got to look to bounce back from this. Burton, Albion, away next week. We need a big result and a big performance there. So yeah, feeling a bit gutted about today's result. But you know what? We're we'll back at it again on Tuesday and we need to bounce back. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe to Hair Dry Treatment if you haven't already. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys.